Okay, I'm Ken. Congratulations on your new purchase. We're gonna go over a couple things you need to know about the coach. So here, you're gonna find your hydraulic fluid for your jacks. That's where you're gonna fill and check the levels. Moving on, right here we have the generator. Anytime you wanna get into this generator, Pro does the open and lift. And you'll see different things. Uh, telling you what indicators are for this light whenever it's working, stop and prime push and start that's how you're going to operate this anytime you do operate and it's running this cover has to be on otherwise you're going to overheat the unit and it will be no good coming down here these last two units here they're just storage units nothing too crazy but this one here is also a storage unit as you can see at red red valve there you want to turn that parallel to empty the fresh tank Moving on, we're going to come here. You have part cable here, black tank flush here, city water here. City water is anything you're hooking up at the campground and using their water. Black tank flush cleans the black tank out. You're going to want to have the black valve open for that. And we're going to show you that here now. We do have a little clip here. Hold that up. Black valve is here, black handle, gray valve is here. Black valve is just a toilet, gray handle sinks and shower. Over here, you're going to see this is plugged in right now. This is your shore cord. This one you'll take out here. You're gonna feed it down through the bottom of this over to the side here, or down through this port, however you wanted to do it. But this is your shore cord. This is where you get power to campground. If you want to use your generator, you have to be plugged in here. Behind that, you're gonna see a canister filter. There's no filter in it now. Whenever you're ready and you want to filter your water, you're gonna drop the filter in there and put it back on. On this making sure everything's back in there and it's okay once you've dropped all these it's all right to give them a push sometimes they don't completely click but that's all right we get them to click somehow coming around the tube this is just pass through storage from the other side that goes all the way over right here same idea we got storage we do have a lot of storage on this unit coming here you're gonna find your radio, plugs, cable, 12 volt socket. So whatever you wanna do, kinda of do out here that you could. Furnace flows off here. Just some more storage. Fresh water tank if you wanted to grab your heat here. This is where you're gonna to have to do it. Just more storage. Come in here. Hot water heater. And every once in a while you'll find that that needs cleaned out there. Otherwise, the only other thing you can do is drain the tank. Last thing on this side of the coach, your propane tank. Okay. And you can turn it on and off. You do have a connection area here before the regulator. After the regulator, you have another connection, which is a quick connect fitting. This little rubber piece comes off, and you're going to use a hose to connect some sort of grill. Just make sure that this is in the open position when it's running. That will actually lock it so that hose doesn't come out. It does have to be shut off so that you can release it. 